Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. I'm back again with another video um, I want to share with y'all. Hopefully, you will share back with me. Let me know your opinion about what I'm talking about. And if you is experiencing this in your city, in your town, in your neighborhood, because I certainly am. Okay, invading white gentrifiers called cops on black residents for walking down the streets, knocking on doors. In an ironic display of white supremacy, black residents in the historically African-American East Oakland area are now being treated as menaces invading by invading white gentrifiers who are calling the cops on them for simply living life as they always have. A recent report by the East Bay Express reveals that the rate at which whites are calling police on innocent blacks is skyrocketing at an alarming rate. Using data from the net the website next door, the publication was able to uncover cops being called for such harmless infractions such as walking down the street, knocking on a door. Black salesmen and postal workers were simp who were simply doing their job have even faced harassment and being criminalized for just delivering items to residents. As if existing Oakland police officers do not have a history of criminalizing and brutalizing black residents enough, White residents have also taken to hiring private police patrols to, uh, to patrol the neighborhood with even more tyranny. Oakland officers report that they are currently receiving more than 700 calls a month about suspicious vehicles and uh, suspicious people, revealing that they are forced to respond to baseless, unwarranted calls from white residents who are racially profiling their neighbors. As gentrification reverses white flight on, a, on the country, black people are being subjected to racial profiling and white supremacy at the hands of invading white gentrifiers whose racial biases will continue unabated until there is some type of legal repercussions for their harassment. Black residents are being forced to relocate by rising property taxes and shattered tranquility of homes that are no longer the vibrant culture centers that they once were and city officials are doing little to address this problem. Meanwhile, drummers who have long traditionally have a long tradition of playing music at Merritt Lake recently were had the police called on them by white residents. And Oakland police bowed to the man's wishes, sending a large numbers of officers to handle a peaceful situation and pass out citations to a group of residents who were simply enjoying their neighborhood the way they always had. A local Oakland church even had the police call on them for a noise complaint about loud singing. In an extreme display of arrogance, white invading gentrifiers do not hold any respect for allowing black residents to worship in their sacred spaces without being subjected to their white supremacy. Longtime Oakland resident and publisher of the black newspaper, the Oakland Post, reveals even more about how bold white newcomers are in reporting that young white residents and realtors have even knocked on his door, inquiring about buying his home and having the nerve to ask him when he was leaving, implying that he's in the way. High school freshman James Fisher recently spoke with the East Bay Express about the suspicious and fearful stares he gets from white people making him feel out of place and uncomfortable in the only place he has ever called home. As gentrification continues to spread across the country, black residents everywhere, not just in Oakland, are left to wonder if they will be able to call any place in America home without white people having the right to invade and pilter their neighborhoods and communities. Now, this article uh, uh, came out of the uh, Your Black World, and it was by April V. Taylor. And I want to know what y'all think about that. Are y'all experiencing gentrification in your neighborhood, your city? Because uh, we are right now, and I'm in the midst of it. Our property taxes have gone up a uh, considerably amount, a lot, uh, from last year. And the value of the property has gone up tremendously. Well, not with a lot of work done or anything. Maybe a few things like a porch and a roof, but 
uh, the houses in the area are going up in value. So are y'all experiencing this? And tell me how y'all handling it when these people are coming to your neighborhoods and now trying to take over like they always do and what should be the recourse for this and these particular people that don't want to get along with people but just want to come and run them out. Should it be a plan for them as well? Like there's a plan for us? You think about it and let me know in your comment below. See you in the next video.